All right, hey everyone, this is Scott Leroy of Scott Leroy Marketing coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip, you guessed it, is on the new websites that just launched today on September 12th. I almost said February. It's not February. It's September. <laughs> September 12th. All right. So on here, we talked previously in the last tip. And if you haven't watched that one, I would highly suggest watching that first of what to do to prepare for the new websites. So now that you are prepared, fantastic. Let's go ahead and get everything started on here right away. All right. So in order to upgrade your websites, what you'll want to do is click on the consumer applet over here at the bottom left of your command homepage. So I'm going to maximize this real quick so we can see the actual verbiage on here, consumer. So we're going to click the consumer applet, and this is where your website is going to lie. This is where your app URL is going to lie. All right, so this is everything you'll need for that consumer facing functionality. Now, when we click on consumer, you will currently see your prior website pages. Now, if you did not watch that original video, what it highlighted was to go through every page and save the information to be safe. Put that info inside a Word doc, put that info inside a Google doc, specifically if it's pages that you customized yourself with custom information. Maybe it was an about the team page. Maybe it was a page about all of your preferred vendors or lenders. Maybe it was a page about your listings or closings. Whatever it may have been that was beyond the basics, so beyond the about page, beyond the contact page, make sure you save that information before you upgrade because that information will not pull over. The other thing we highlighted in that video as well was to go through and check your landing pages. All right, these landing pages on here, if they have a green box on here for the status, that means that it is active and it's published. These landing pages, or the landing page functionality will go away but these pages directly will remain live as long as they are active. So if you want to continue to utilize them, make sure this is green. If you do not wish to use them anymore, make them inactive. All right, and uh, inactive. Make them inactive. There we go. All right, or click the three dots over here and click delete. Now, if you do want to use them, make sure you copy this URL. Otherwise, you will not have access to what that is anymore. Now, to upgrade the site, though, it's very simple. There's a button up here that says upgrade my website. All right, so let's click on it. So if you're ready to make the change, feel free to click on this. Now, remember, you're not obligated to make that change right now by any means. If you want to wait for some more features to come out, completely up to you. All right, but if you are ready to make that plunge, here we go. So I'm going to click Upgrade My Website. So as you can see, introducing new agent sites. Upgrade to your new agent sites today. Take advantage of world-class technology to set yourself apart. All right, so once you kind of go through this, we can click the Next Option. All right, it's then going to say we need to confirm your subdomain. All right, do you want to continue with your current subdomain or select a new one? So if you want to continue with that current one, click the checkbox on here. So by curming, sorry, by, by curming, by confirming your subdomain, you'll begin the upgrade process. All right, now once again, you are able to go through there and you can change that URL. But one thing to note, and this is what I've been highlighting, once you start the upgrade process, you will no longer be able to create any new agent site pages or landing pages in the current experience. That is a big, big thing. I want to make sure that you do not take that lightly. All right, if you have custom pages that you made specifically and you want to upgrade, make sure you save them. Otherwise, that information may be gone. In fact, it will be gone. If you have landing pages that you want to continue utilizing and you don't know the URL, make sure you copy that URL. This is a very big, crucial item before going through and submitting everything. Now, once I click on claim your subdomain, that is now going to claim this. All right, we need to confirm your subdomain. If that's correct, once again, you can change it later on. We can click I understand so we can preview it. Click the next option. And then once again, upgrade to your new agent sites. They're giving you multiple opportunities to hold off if you want to. So once again, you are not obligated to upgrade on day one. If you want to wait for a while, wait for other features to come out, you definitely can. If you want to take your time, make sure you save everything. Please feel free. Definitely want to make sure that is noted as much as possible. All right, I can't overstate that. All right, so in order to provide our agents with the best experience possible, any agent website that has not been upgraded by late 2023 will automatically upgrade it or deactivate it. Once you opt into the new agent website experience, you will not be able to return to the current experience or create any new landing pages. That is a big difference. All right, so you aren't able to go back to what it looked like before 
and you can't make new landing pages. So if you are a landing page aficionado, I don't think that's the word. I, I, I'm pretty sure I mispronounced it. That's okay. You might want to hold off for a second. All right. So I want to make sure that, that as much red tape or caution tape is put up as possible before clicking the I agree to upgrade and upgrade now. But once you click that and you click upgrade now, you will now have access to the new backend editor and the new website, which will look similar to this. So there you go. So that's how you can access the new website, access the new editor, and then be able to access the actual site itself. So in the next video, we'll talk about that site, what it's going to look like, and how you can start to market it right away. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.